Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, uh, we are going to discuss about the tooling API which with which we can query the custom object details, not all custom object, any metadata for that matter in your org and uh, you know retrieve that in the Apex class and uh, at the runtime if you want to access the metadata objects either you can create an Apex class in the runtime or you know make any modifications to a custom object. Uh, that is the later part now we'll see like how you can you know run the tooling api yeah so this is the code snippet which i've written to you know send the request to the tooling api using http request before that i'm preparing you know the url services data and the version api version is 38 and the tooling api is the query which i have hard coded you can use any other string variables and encoding that if you can see the spaces are replaced with a plus sign so similarly and the base url which will be concatenated together to form an endpoint so new http request setting the endpoint getting the user session id and get method and sending the HTTP request and once we get the response I'm using this class to read and deserialize the response body let me show you this class so this is the class which is returning you know which has these public variables the size total size I mean this is the high level attributes of that response and these are the query columns which will be returned by that request okay so i have four more other attributes which we are not using in this example because i will show you in the next video how to you know uh, get the dependencies from your uh, this thing from your any custom object or any other object what are the dependencies of those objects so let's go to this one now and run to see how the request and the response is coming back okay let's go to logs i haven't checked here it is success okay so let's see where we are sending yeah so we have got the response okay with the status code 200 and this is the actual raw response body which will be transformed or deserialized using the class which i have created custom object response and once that is done deserialize i am displaying it here so it has a seven objects seven custom objects which is returning in this org i don't have any objects this is my personal uh, org so this is the custom ob object list which we got it from here so custom object which I'm displaying it once you have it in the list in the apex you know uh, in the apex class runtime you can read it whichever way you want and use it in your uh, logic so that's how you know you get using the tooling API the custom object and why we cannot use it in the workbench or any other place like you can query the custom object here but you will get an error saying the custom object is not supported but if you use the tooling api you can get it but in the workbench i don't think you can get it because there is no option to use tooling api here that's why you get this error so that's the reason we use this http request basically rest to access the tooling api and get these results okay so thank you for watching in the next video i'll show you like how we can retrieve the dependencies of these objects and uh, yeah we'll meet in the next video thank you bye bye